uh, we're on the Personas booth, Super Booth. You're my first of the official day show. Wow, so, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, funky building, and uh, you've got a new it product, is. right? Yeah, actually, um, this is a world premiere. It's the first time we're showing our brand new Quantum Thunderbolt audio interface. Um, so this is actually the first time we're showing this in public. Um, it is the uh, it is the fastest and best sounding audio interface um, Presonus uh, has done so far. Um, it's a Thunderbolt 2 interface. Uh, it has uh, 26 inputs, 32 outputs, um, eight um, analog um, inputs with um, X Max oh, yeah, mic preamps. Yeah, the first two also. Is this, is this it on below? So if I scan, I've got some. Yeah, uh, there's two on the front and six on the back. Then there's two ADAT uh, I/O. It has two Thunderbolt connectors. Oh, are they? Yeah. Uh, and it oh, has man. MIDI I/O. It has BNC word clock input and output SPDIF. Um, so fully equipped. Um, and you can stack up to four units, so you can actually go uh, as high as 96 inputs and outputs. Wow. Okay. Um, it's 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. Um, the best microphone preamps we have. So uh, all the I/O is that by per chance DC coupled? Actually, yes, and this is uh, probably the reason why we're here at this event. Um, this is also the first um, interface uh, from Presonus that has DC coupled outputs. Uh, actually, the um, the Studio um, 68, which we showed at Messe also has DC coupled outputs. So this one can run uh, analog trigger and control voltages to Eurorack and so does the Quantum. And actually every new audio interface we will make in the future will have DC coupled outputs. So very Eurorack friendly. And uh, um, a couple of, has it got any DSP on board or is it uh, You know, that's the thing. This is, in our opinion, it's the next generation interface. It has nothing in it. It's designed for high speed. It's only inputs and outputs with very high quality converters. Um, all the processing is now native, yeah? so it's designed to run at very, very low buffer sizes with very, very low latency. So in fact, you can go as low as eight samples using our custom drivers that we provide for um, ASIO, for Windows, and Core Audio for macOS. Um, so we can go as low as one millisecond or even below one millisecond of latency. So now you're actually able to run native plugins in your DAW so, in example, uh, for example, when you're using it with Studio One, you can you can run an EQ uh, on the input and record with the EQ, or you can run um, plugins on the monitor uh, path. Um, wow. So they're not recorded, but you you can monitor with plugins. So it's almost powered, but pa yeah. but because of the, the the throughput, it's just super fast. Okay. It's super fast, and um, depending on the CPU of your computer, um, you will be able to run. Um, below a millisecond, uh, then you may not be able to run a lot of plugins, but you will probably not hear any uh, audible delay when you use a higher buffer size, and then more and more plugins become available. Um, I think a lot of people don't know that the plugins, or a lot of the plugins, the native plugins, don't add latency to the signal chain. So you can use the Pro EQ in Studio One, it doesn't add any latency. You can even use a compressor. If you turn off the look ahead delay, it also runs at zero latency. Uh, so you can use those plugins on the inputs for recording or you can put them on the monitoring path, uh, you can put a delay or a reverb uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the headphone uh, mix for a singer, but it's all native effects, so you don't need a separate monitor mixer, um, you just run everything from uh, the mixer inside your DAW. Um, so that's, in our opinion, uh, the next step in native um, right, okay. Um, when, production. When, uh, when's it going to be available? I say it's the world premiere. And, uh... It's going to be available uh, end of next month. Uh, we're going to start shipping it uh, in uh, end of May. And all of the information will be available at personas.com on the 25th. Uh, that's uh, next week, Tuesday. That's when we go public with all the information. Well, so it really is an exclusive. Is it, it is. Yeah. Have you got any so. indication of price yet, or is that going to happen then? Yeah, it's. Um, the list price is twelve ninety nine US, and it's probably going to retail at nine ninety nine US. So very affordable too. Great, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.